Texas business owner puts up a sign saying, now hiring non-stupid people. Some people find that offensive, and others think it's actually pretty funny. Um, I have an opinion on that, and we'll get to that shortly. But let's check this out. From the Western Journal, a Texas business owner who said the quiet part out loud when looking for employees is getting a reaction. Walter Parsons posted a sign reading, now hiring non-stupid people. After a frustrating revolving door of hires who did not work out at his Pets Gone Wild Resort in Pasadena, Texas. It did not take long for a critic to call, he said, according to the Houston Chronicle. I said, ma'am, I'm sorry, but there are a whole lot of uh, worse words out there people are using that are offensive. I'm not going to take it down. He said, people have applied have not worked out. We're trying to weed out the people who, that come in. We hired one last week that lasted three days. He said he has been trying more traditional approaches without much success. He also said many employees failed to understand that he expects them to do work on work time. Repeatedly, get off your cell phone. You've got to watch the dogs. Okay, put up the cell phone. Go back out there. 20 minutes later, she's back on her cell phone, Parsons said. At least be as smart as I am. That's the thing. You have people, you know, these people getting these jobs and they're on their phones all the time. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Just do your job. It makes your life so much easier. You not you don't have to be a rocket scientist or be the world's greatest employee. Just show some in- initiative. I'm sorry. Show a little bit of initiative and do what you're told. That's it. He said they f- uh, found the sign on Amazon. This was the very first time, the first one at the top of the page. <laughs> we got a good laugh out of it. My wife says, get it. And I said, all right, let's find it was not a fine so woman identified as Taylor. Uh, what does it say to prior employees? Oh, we think you're stupid, so we're trying to hire somebody that we think is smarter than you? The fact they felt so emboldened to put something up like that is disgusting. It's distasteful and unprofessional. I get what she's saying, but she's taking it the wrong way. I didn't take, when I saw this, I didn't take it that way that she's taking it. You know what I'm saying? I knew what he I know what he's talking about when he says these stupid employees revolving door of dumb people uh you know have, we'll, we'll get to that in a second okay uh some customers who drop off their pets at the business have a better uh, opinion of the sign I just saw the sign yesterday and I laughed because we knew it was Walter's sense of humor and we just took it in and we took it in jest um I can see why some people might be offended but you do hope they hire responsible people Parsons said whether it had whether it was a buzz over the sign or just being visible, he has received three good applicants over the over his latest opening, and will be taking the sign down according to KHOU. He said that quality matters in his business. Come through here and take a tour and take a look at the responsibility that we have. Would you put your child somewhere that wasn't dedicated, that didn't have smart people in it? Here's a sign right here. Now hiring non-stupid people. He said uh, objections to the sign are the sign of the times. Since COVID, the society has gotten just completely out of hand. They don't want their feelings hurt. Yeah, um, people are get offended by everything nowadays. Look, I don't have a problem look, with the sign. The guy's getting frustrated uh, with what's going on. We see a lot of people... A lot of people nowadays don't want to work. They're 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 lazy, and and it's making these business owners have to struggle to hire. They're struggling to hire people because you can't find quality candidates. My wife's job at the, their warehouse location. She works for a lighting company at their warehouse location. Uh, they had ten applicants signed or ready for an interview. All only nine out of ten. Nine out of ten didn't show up. The one that showed up and got hired quit the first day and said, oh, this is too far for me to drive, and quit mid-shift and walked out. I mean, you're getting people like that, people that are just applying to keep getting the unemployment. They're getting a job. They're not putting any kind of initiative in it. You know, you're watching these people as animals. You have to be responsible here. You see what I'm saying? All right, guys, I'm going to end the video right there. I just wanted to talk about that guy really quick. I thought it was... Uh, uh, Pretty funny sign. 
you know, people get offended, whatever. Uh, I thought it was funny. And I think that it's because what we're seeing nowadays, ever since COVID, people don't want to work. People are having a tough time filling spots in their, uh, you know, for the open positions. And these business owners are struggling. So ever since that sign has been up, he's gotten three good applicants. He's got some quality candidates there, and he's probably going to take the sign down. That's the thing. He probably got somebody's attention. So this guy needs help. A good quality candidate. Let me apply. He's probably getting a bunch of idiots applying who can't do their job. So let me go ahead. I'm a good quality candidate. I have a good work ethic. Let me go ahead and, and, uh, and apply for this job. That's probably what happened. So the sign looks like it did work. And uh, good luck to this guy. Anyway, guys, thank, uh, thanks for listening. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care.